Hey guys, welcome back to Daniel's Tech World here on YouTube. This is Daniel Rosal here. So I want to do a uh, quick video regarding one little kind of uh, solution I came up for um, as to how to limit the size of the data you're storing on folders in DSM if you have a Synology drive. So I kind of explained my process before, uh, my workflow for the optical archival stuff and archival in general, is that I put projects as I finish them onto my NAS. And then when I estimate that it's ready for um, the storage I'm using, I put that onto my archival Blu-rays. Uh, the way I've done that is being pretty primitive. I just kind of add stuff into the folders as I go through a month. And then like this, I just kind of take the count and you can see I'm actually very close for a uh, for a 25 gig Blu-ray. Now this is actually a little bit over full for a Blu-ray because unless you use an ISO, I generally get 23.3 gigabytes out of them. So the safest uh, spot if you're using this media, I think is 23. And if you're using BDXL, you probably uh, regularly, you probably know what uh, usable space you get on the disc. And often the usual space is a small bit smaller than the stated space because there's some, uh, there's some other stuff on the disc. I don't quite understand it. And you can get around that by uh, putting your stuff into an ISO format. But if you just want to do it the easy way, um, this isn't a great method, clearly, right? Just kind of guesstimating and filling it up as you go. So here is uh, one workaround that I came up with. So using the control panel, we can look at the folders on my NAS. And this is one that I use for my backup stuff, as the name suggests, called Daniel Backup. So what I'm going to do here is right click onto it. I'm going to click into edit. And here I have some uh, options for stuff that I can do uh, with this. So if you go into the advanced option, you have enabled shared folder quota. And this is where you can set exactly uh, how much data you want to fit in the NES. So I can say currently, as you can see, we're at 25 gigs. So at 24.23. So I'm going to set that to 25 and I'm going to click on save. And now this is only limited to a capacity of 25 gigabytes so that's the solution now just to just to show what happens if i try to uh, exceed the capacity so we have about 700 uh, spare so let's say i try to put a gigabyte of data into the folder okay so just for the purpose of testing this out i pulled down a file that is a quarter of a uh, gigabyte approximately video file and i've just duplicated that four times so that when we, by the time you get to the fourth file we should exceed the capacity so the first file is going up okay. That's been stored, it was added. Second file is gonna come in now, added to the upload queue, and uh, this should go through okay as well. Now let's try number three. I think this should fit, this does fit. And this final file should put us over capacity of the storage. So you can see it's uploading here and in process, and I'm hoping we're gonna get some kind of a warning or a message that we filled up this so there we go, it failed to upload vid4.mp4, your personal data has exceeded the quota. Let me just show you that error message again. So you can see the uploads were fine and then we got a message that we hit the error quota. So this is one way that you could do it if you're trying to uh, find a more intelligent way of filling up your folders on the on an NES if you're using it to uh, queue stuff to write onto your optical media. This is one method that uh, that can work. Thanks for watching, until the next video.